Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So it occurred to me some days ago that I dropped two videos without any proper introduction. I'm going to do that today. So my name is Elizabeth Oyema. I am an advanced clinical weight loss practitioner, a wellness motivational speaker, a diet and lifestyle coach, a wife, a mom of three, a foodie, and an all-round very happy girl. So yes, my journey towards becoming a weight loss consultant started with me. Yes, I was always that fat little chubby round or rubber girl growing up as a child, you know, and um, it was amazing because my siblings were really skinny, but I, on the other hand, was really chubby. I didn't like it. I developed a complex at the age of seven and a half. One day when I had a curl, my big sister, she looks me in the eye and she says, look at you, fatty bum bum. You're always eating. That's why you're so fat. So I said to myself, oh, so food is a problem, right? So if food is the reason why I'm fat, then I'd better stop eating. So I did. My parents didn't know. I would give my food to the dogs. I would, I would flush my food down the toilet. I would do all sorts of things just to make sure I wasn't eating. And so I became an ulcer patient when I was eight years old. And I've lived with it. Well, I think I'm better, way better right now, but I lived with it for a very long time. And so I was never comfortable about my weight. It didn't just stop there when I was a child. By the time I went in secondary school, I was always referred to as the big girl, one of the big girls, you know, and then university came and same thing happened. But, you know, this time around, I had a level of financial independence. So I could do some kind of diet that I wanted to do from time to time, you know. So I started doing funny diets such as the Lipton tea and lemon diet. I did the the crackers and milk diet i love that one because it was really very yummy all i needed to do was just get milk put in some crackers and then eat it all up and in my mind's eye i was trying to lose weight yes and then i also did um the atkins diet yes back in the days where i would stay away from carbs like no carbs carbs are making me fat and then i would just simply you know eat basically protein and other forms of things like I just thought I was doing the best for myself, you know. And so you can imagine how how livid I was, or better still, how amazed I was when I finally met my husband. And on the night he proposed to me, he looks me in the eye and said, said, promise me you're never going to be fat. And I was like, oh my goodness, like seriously, is this coming back after me again? I've tried to lose weight all my life. And here he is trying to make me promise I'm never going to be fat. Hell, like I don't even know what's going to happen in future. But nevertheless, I reassured him. I told him, okay, no problems. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to make sure I don't get fat and all that. So yes, I got married weighing 85 kgs. I finished my wedding cake all by myself. It was a four-layered wedding cake, yes. I ate it all up by myself. And then the kids started coming. And after my first son, I was like 92 kgs. My second son, about 103, 104 kgs. By the time I had my daughter, I was way out of control. I had become so big, I was practically over 110 kgs. But that wasn't just a problem. The problem was I had also become pre-diabetic. I will never forget that day at the doctor's hospi at the hospital when doctors sat me down, looked me in the face and said, is there anybody like diabetes in your family? And I told him, yes, my father's sister died of diabetes. And he said, okay, well, after running some tests, we've discovered that you have um, a situation with your blood sugar, you're presently pre-diabetic. And it broke my heart. And I remembered him looking at me and telling me, you have to lose weight. And in my head, I was like, God, it's back after me again. Like, do I have to hear this like everywhere, like every day, like every time? But he explained to me how it was possible that my weight gain probably would have triggered the situation I was in and how I needed to desperately lose weight. And so going back home, I thought hard on the drive back home that day. It wasn't just about looking good now or wearing or fitting into a size 10. It was about my life. My kids were young, my family very young. What was I going to do? And so it occurred to me that I had to do something drastic. And so I made up my mind. I had to go back to school and that I did. Studied for two years to become what I am today. And I was shocked that in eight months, less than nine months, 
I dropped over 30 kgs. I never felt more healthy. I'd stabilized my blood sugar back to normal blood sugar, fasting blood sugar range. And I was doing very good. And so it, it, it ignited a fire inside of me to help people who were like me. People who feel trapped in their bodies. People who hate the way they look. People who's been called fat like forever since when they were young. People who've tried different kinds of diet to lose weight. People who are scared of food like I was. Because I was so scared of food. I hated food and saw it as my enemy. People who are presently suffering from illnesses as a result of their poor food choices. I'm talking about people who are diabetic, that have high blood pressure, high cholesterol issues, you know. People who want to slay, mothers who have kids and want to look good. You know what I'm talking about? Mothers who have children and are tired of that big belly that they're carrying all over them. You know, like when I started work on myself, my belly circumference was about 45 inches, but today it is 32 inches. And amazingly, I've been able to keep the weight off like forever. So yes, my channel is for people who are tired of going back and forth, adding weight and losing weight and adding and losing. I want to, for once in their life, get rid of this weight and move on. So you're going to learn a lot of things by just subscribing and following up on this channel. You're going to learn about food, why you shouldn't be scared of carbs, about healthy sources of carbs, about healthy protein, about healthy sources of fat and oil, about, about how to eat, about how stress is connected to weight gain, about how starvation is connected to weight gain, about how it's important that you exercise, about a whole lot of important things. So please, like, subscribe, share my video, and stay glued to this channel. I can't wait to teach you everything that I know. I'm so passionate about what I do. And I can't wait to make that change in your life.